a man woke up superhuman. Yo, to know what's going on. Welcome back to the John Crave Show. Today is going to be a long one because of the simple fact that I am going to be talking about, well, the Nintendo Direct. So let's jump right into this mess and see what it's all about. Nintendo! What you got for me? Hello, everyone. I'll be your guide for today's Nintendo Direct. I'm Shinya oh. Takahashi. Hello, Mr. Ta Takahashi. And that was, of course, the latest trailer for Overwatch by Blizzard Entertainment. The game is scheduled for release on Nintendo Switch October 15th, so please look forward to it. Okay, let's get into our first batch of Nintendo Switch headlines. Please take a look. You gotta oh, nice. see these floors of the hotel for yourself. Luigi's Mansion 3 takes oh, place nice. in a <laughs> and booby traps. As for the other floors, well, there's a disco floor, a pirate themed restaurant. So we're gonna kill you get the idea. Same like it may not be the usual ghost? amenities, Sweet. but there's a rogues gallery of bosses to They are literally putting everything well, like but the kitchen sink out. like in this game, I swear. Speaking of amenities. Step oh, and right the Scream Park is a, is a, is a, is a new mode. Park. I think they even put a, put, put a co-op mode in there. Yeah, yeah. Co-op mode. Where, like, we go up against, like, other people. System team Gooey versus Team Luigi. See which team can defeat the most ghosts. <laughs> Collect the most coins by piloting floaties with the Poltergust G00. And break the most targets. If you wanted to make hey, Mario Party, you could say, like, just make this into a Mario Party party game. opens its doors on October 31st, just in time for Halloween. Definitely getting that. Get a look hey. this new free to start Kirby game. The combined forces of Kirby, 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 and Kirby are in for some wicked bomb Come each challenge. This is actually quest. pretty cool. When Super Kirby Clash launches, Super later Kirby Clash today. basically is and just remember, a boss sim simulator. To too. Parents will not be forgotten. As each character advances, they'll have the opportunity to switch their class, allowing them to learn stronger special moves and spells. Step yeah. into the light. Or show your dark side when picking your class to change your character's appearance. Yeah, like that was the coolest thing about the game was Unlike the fact the that that um, every character had like three different movement. classes, or like five different classes that you could go each member positive or negative or whatever, you know. Once again, the wheels of fate are beginning. But to the turn. only real problem with the game, though, was, was like that was like that it had three villains Find out and two characters world were connected to that Mana villain. So April basically, 24th. like two characters were connected to one of the three villains, like in the game. So you had to pick and choose, like which ones you want. What happened to the crew? And he'll need our ideas. Oh, this is pretty but interesting. To win one of these battles, you must know when to use them. Strategy is everything. If there's any hope to win. So basically, it's a super rock paper scissors battle, game. You can move around to garner. Almost all the music in the game was composed by Undertale creator Toby Fox. <laughs> Well, hey, Little Toby Fox is 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 Switch, really good when it comes to making music. So yeah. And pre oh, what's this? So they got somebody else, 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 else coming. Yeah, seventeen. Nineteen eighties? Nope, nineteen ninety one. For this, oh, Neo Geo. So are they gonna release some oh yeah this smash so who's gonna come over from from like a classic snk game <laughs> oh are you <laughs> cordially invited 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 to smash don't be late you know what <laughs> well nope 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 keo ain't the keo he he's not getting it what about you rio nope <laughs> why i seem so visibly hurt Okay, they're not getting it. What about say? What about you, East? <laughs> he just leaped to his death for. <laughs> okay, what about you, Nakaru? Nope, nope, nope. It's not gonna be Haomaru because Haomaru is gonna be in Tekken. So, what about you, Yori? Blue flames and purple flames. Nope. <laughs> At least he has the decency to laugh it off. Okay. At least he does. This is really amazing, though. 
But who's it gonna be? Oh my god. <sighs> Terry Bogard? I'm not mad at that. <laughs> the face is a fury. Yes, Terry. Like, he's now in development. I swear to Christ, man. Like, Terry, Terry, Terry Bogard is by far the only character, the only character that I know to pop up, uh, like, in some of the strangest games from any SNK series. Like, he popped up in this. He popped up in a game, game that was only supposed to have girl, girls in it. He popped up in EX fighting, um, uh, what's that? Um, um, EX fighting, um, a fighting layer, I think, right? The battle. That means oh my god, he's supposed to come out in November. Included in the fighters pass. Terry, say really like, Terry even popped up, man, like in, um, um, a dang on, uh, what was it? He popped up, man, like in a, uh, um, um, in one of those, uh, RPG games. He popped up in Shadow Hearts. You know what I'm saying? Well, he popped up, man, like as a wolf wearing, wearing a hat, but still, you know what I'm saying? You know, because his nickname is the Hungry Wolf. So basically, like, they made him a wolf, like, in that game and put a hat on him. So, you know. The most complete version of a sprawling adventure story. I still look at this and I'm like, well, now HD the cool thing graphics. about this entire thing is Travel the fact that you can put it worlds. back, like, into the classic, like, drag Dragon, Dragon Quest to the sprite, sprite view. The Other than that, launches, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like, the champion pack comes out on the 27th pack, for Switch. You guys have fun with that. And, more equipment that can and they're the changing up a few things, so, you know. An RPG giant draws near. I'm like, eh, Dragon cool. Quest 11 S Echoes of an Elusive Age Definitive Edition journeys onto Nintendo Switch September 27th. I do wonder if that's gonna pop up anywhere else though, or is this only Until for Switch? Then, to where nothing wait a second. It seems. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Deadly Premonition 2? Deadly Premonition 2? They actually decided to make a Deadly Premonition 2. Now, I'm not gonna cackle and laugh like the Joker, but at the very least, I'm They actually put one of one of the best weirdest games that I have that I've ever played that is just Twin Peaks in video game form. They actually decided to remake that. Or at least give us a a sequel. <laughs> ah. This is a good day. All this is a wonderful again, day. When FBI agent Aaliyah Davis opens an investigation. Aaliyah Davis, where's, we'll say like, wait, wait a second. I think York is gone, so we're only dealing with Zach now. The door that also takes us back to New Orleans 14 years ago. Oh, we're going back 14 Here, years ago. story follows an FBI agent who goes by the name. Francis York. York Morgan. The journey between past and present will take Aaliyah and York on a winding <laughs> path. But what lies at the end? Will it be truth? Oh my or Jesus. Madness? This game is a perfect mixture of two, Oh my god. Disguise, boggles and beguiles. Sorry, I have to pause it again. Like this game is the perfect mixture of terrible like enemy design, terrible controls, terrible ideas mixed in with wonderful execution, stupid conversations, like back and forth between certain char characters, a specific murder mystery. I swear to God, this game is amazing. It is on the level of God Hand. Actually, it's actually a little better than God Hand because of the fact that because it is so goofy and stupid. The fact that basically like that it works like in a real world setting. The fact that you actually have to put gas like in your vehicles, like and after doing like two missions, like that they give you unlimited ammo and unlimited weapons. So basically like that, you you have nothing to worry about, but just run through like and just kill everything. Like, I swear to God, this this game is amazing. I, I only hope that they do the second game justice. I hope they do. A Nintendo Switch in 2020. <laughs> oh and my God. For a shocker, the original game in the series the ga will launch a Nintendo eShop at Deadly Oh snap, man, like, uh, later today. so basically like the, the first game is gonna be on the eShop too. Oh my God, that is amazing. Infinity. Original Sin 2 <laughs> that is the best. Is finally coming. It to is Nintendo the best. Check it I, out. I will get a Switch only for Deadly Premonition. That game is amazingly bad, but I love it. <laughs> I, I, I have never seen a game be so diversive. I'm a du, uh, divisive about about how about how bad its controls are. 
and how bad well the controls are actually pretty good you know what i'm saying like the game is actually pretty good the controls are really good the weapons and items you get are really good but the characters and, and the story is so silly and weird and weird and goofy that it's like yo man like i have to get this <laughs> you know what i'm saying you know like the game it just encapsulates you like in its world and i love it you know but yeah divinity original sin 2 yeah i got no problem with this it's actually it it looks like something that i really wanted 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 to play you know what i'm saying the fact that it is co-op you can play it for four people you can link um switches and, and all that for a message from Look, looks really good celebrate we're re-releasing one of our favorite games doom 64. For hey the first doom 64. Time since its release in 1997 Doom 64 will be officially available. Actually, the monsters actually Nintendo look a little bit more scary in this one than they did in most did, than did than any of the monsters. other ones. Or if you're a newcomer, experience the retro first-person shooter that helped make Doom one of the most popular shooter franchises in history. I mean, but like, don't get me wrong, but like, man, I, I love, I love 3D Doom, but like that gun, like that demon gun, like it's broken, it's, like, it's broken as ever. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield take place in the Gala region. A scenic land where people and Pokemon work together toward a prosperous future. Among them, honestly, I've been liking a lot of Pokemon the changes like that they've been making with with, uh, with Pokemon as of late. Today, we'll cover four features you can look forward to. So, what's new? First, customizing your look. Well, that's cool. Once again, the latest entry in the series lets you pick your outfit. I mean that's actually this pretty time, nice though, but you know, just tops and especially since that like that before like all the old po Poco Pokemon games, gloves. man, with just button ups and button ups hoodies and uh, <laughs> that's about it. Plus, you can change your hairstyle or put on a little makeup. I mean, hey, man, There's like this is basically man, like a game, man, where like that. I'm pretty sure like that skills. the two main character character characters' too, names are just short sword and shield. Second, Pokemon Camp. Oh, During camp. your journey through the Gala region, you can camp anytime at Pokemon Camp. Oh, Poke Camp. I thought there was like an actual While place like there, that you send you the dang things, but you can just play with them and, and everything. As you get to know them better, they'll also improve in battle. Additionally, in the wild area, you can visit other players' camps too. Oh, sweet. Feel free to bring along one of your Pokemon and hang out with up to three other players at the camp. So basically, recommend interacting with <laughs> so basically, I can Pokemon. hang out with with my friends, and we can basically Third, act like actual Pokemon rice. trainers for once. Sweet Pokemon camp. We can is cook. Also a great place to cook up a dish that is very popular in the Gala region: curry on rice. How your curry turns out and what type it is ultimately depends on which berries and other ingredients you use. Honestly, this is I, I mean, like as like a multiplayer feature to get people in like to play pokemon again something like that i haven't types. done like since i was <laughs> and each one you cook up will be <laughs> this is a, it's like curry like this is a the far cry from back in the day the when i was so when i was in elementary huh? school and What's that pokemon you know what i'm saying here? like 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 and to like all the guys we'll and whatnot like we like 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 when it's time to recess, we just get all our First get out our game game boys it makes a whole say huddle around and play pokemon gold and gold and silver it's a big difference from today where now basically like you making just flavor. feed your pokemon and whatnot play with them take them out somewhere you know what i'm saying this ghost type pokemon also has a special ability pretty cool actually armor. next another new pokemon called cramorant cramorant this flying and water type pokemon has one huge appetite it will swallow anything it can fit in its mouth when it uses surf or dive during battle, watch as it rises from the water, along with the catch in its mouth. If it takes damage in this state, it'll retaliate by spitting out its catch at the attacker. This is Cramorant's exclusive new ability. The gulp, gulp missile. missile. Oh, Jesus. Actually pretty, pretty cool. And that's all we have to share with you today. Pokemon Sword and Pokemon Shield will launch on Nintendo Switch November well, 15. Well, I know which one I'm getting. It's called Super Nintendo, Super Nintendo Switch Entertainment System Nintendo Switch Online. Okay. With this, play Mario play Kart. A variety of classic Super NES games on Nintendo Switch. Uh, isn't that that uh, wonderful? 
Stunt Race FX, oh. which will be available to play on another system for the first time. Yes. You can face off or team up in local multiplayer by passing a Joy-Con controller to a friend. This, this is just Dr. Robotnik's meme beam. Online. Machine. Oh, sweet. Oh. We can play that, too. And the rewind function this. will be available from launch. Well, hey, that's something like that makes this game a little bit easier. Here are the first oh, Breath games of Fire? we plan to release. Ghosts and Goblins, Mario Party, Legend of Zelda. Yeah. All 20 of the games you see on screen. Oh, Demon's tomorrow. Crest. Oh, Jesus. And Joe Mac, Mac, too. Of oh, course, God. We will eventually add more to the I wasn't lineup. even expecting Demon Crest Man to be on that. This offer is oh, and the Brawl Brothers. Even though, even though it's a cool beat em up, it's not one of my so favorites. But Brawl Brothers no is I. Charge. To a I say, like, so this is DLC, like, just to play with a friend. CPU and get together with friends to battle via local wireless on your Nintendo Switch systems in local arena mode. The version 2.0 update for Tetris 99 will be available nice. tomorrow. A package nice. version available the game, on the fifth, DLC, the fifth, and then on the sixth, but you get the DLC. Sweet. Football. Well, it's nice to see this coming back. Skateboarding. I mean, I know seconds. like that it did get a bump rap, man, like when the idea Badminton, was first announced, gymnastics. but you know, surfing. But the you fact like what? that you have like There's all these events in there, from. you know, except for like foot racing because you know Check technically Sonic should should win that. Events. Oh, and the fact like that you them and you can make it look like the classic. Graphics. I don't know why, like like They're just putting new, that there, like retro, it just it just adds something extra for me. <laughs> On top of that, there are new mini games, unlockable characters, and a story mode in which Mario, Sonic. Bowser oh sweet! Actually, has a story mode. I wish. From a game I wish what's the name actually had a story Tokyo mode to it, but you know, sadly, Mario you know, I mean, Smash Brothers had a story in it again, but sadly, it doesn't November have it. 5th. But you know, and all of your progress can carry over to the full game. <laughs> if you've never played a mech action game, that's something that I really like about. is the fact like that this when you get stuff like in the like in the demo and then it carries over to the a main game. The feature of this demo is the co-op mode for up to four players. Oh sweet! And we're happy to report that it can be played via local wireless. So, local wireless? Oh sweet! And make the bosses feel like the little guys. Full game includes the online game play. Also support online play. Be ready by customizing. So basically, we can only do local on the on demo, missions. but you can do what online like with that. That's actually pretty sweet. You know, the fact like that, that so like that, they have this super like mech game like that's gonna destroy the world. Oh, 13th, the same day as Borderlands. <laughs> right, it has both of them. Single player DLC and new features like touch control and motion aiming coming exclusively to Nintendo Switch. So if it's Black Flag and then it has all the DLC and then Rogue and then and then basically it goes into Assassin's Creed. Uh, you're a veteran looking to take your slayer on the go. Or rookie ready to forge your legacy Daunt, you'll hone your Daunt, skills i've i've, I've heard of this game but i never played it and team up with other slayers to take down boss sized behemoths is that As what you do like you just team up with people and then like just fight just fight bosses of the game's i actually like that switch and there's plenty more on the horizon i actually don't see a problem with that so what so what so what you guys got got for me now open up my, my calendar oh Oh, so they bring us some stuff back. Oh, Just Dance coming back. All right, cool. November fifth. Cold Masters Grid say Grid Auto Sport. September nineteenth. <laughs> I got a truck farming simulator out because it seems like it will be really fun to play. It comes out in December though. Nino Kuni, Wrath of the White Witch. I got no problem with that. NBA 2020. I mean, um, uh, 2K20. Mm, if they take out those gambling mechanics. <laughs> oh, Call of Cthulhu? They really should have came up man, like, like, man, with a title for that. Because there's two Call of Cthulhu games. Of course, and Outer World, you know, the space, um, New Vegas. Yeah. Devil May Cry 2. Don't say, like, don't hit on that game. It's actually pretty good. <laughs> You know, Vampire or Vampire. Yes, October. Rainfall and enough wind to shake the trees. <laughs> Depending on the time of day and the season, you'll encounter different creatures to catch too. Caught a palm smell. 
sociable types who live together on the same island can play simultaneously. Up to four players at a time. Oh, on one system. so basically you we and your friends can be like can just go and, and just like destroy the island in and like space. like like if you want to. With a local wireless or up to eight players can play can oh, so up to eight people can play together online. For a total of eight players in one visit. Pretty sweet actually. The whole scene all these feels all these co-op esque things like that is coming to the switch. I mean, I know that it's kind of crazy, but honestly to be real with you is like the fact the that they have login. all of these online what games the fact that, today, that they are trying to put all this co-op in there so much it is actually one of the discovered. smartest things that, that so they've ever done you know the problem with it is though is the fact that they're not really good good with net coding you know and honestly nintendo finally kind of came up so at least nintendo finally came across man with this whole thing of like your games would sell more if you guys actually like worked on worked on your online you know so yeah uh march 20th 2020 yeah like if they just worked on that it'll be fine what do i think of this nintendo direct honestly i don't think it's bad honestly i think that uh, the more that I look at it, the more that I'm like, well, Nintendo is actually trying. They're putting in online. They're putting in, like, they're trying to fix their co-op and their online ability and everything. They're trying to basically get demos out and get people to actually want to play their games. They're actually bringing back classic stuff, stuff and everything. The fact that they even have Terry, Terry Bogart in Smash, like, that alone is a crazy as it is already, you know what I'm saying? And it's like, <laughs> and it's like, I'm really, 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 really liking the fact that they're putting in man, like all these classic character characters and all that, bringing back all their older games. And so like that, you can play them like using the Super Nintendo, uh, using, using the Super Nintendo online or using the Nintendo online, like all that stuff, you know what I'm saying? Like, they're putting in work, but the problem is, though, is that they really have to fix their net... They they have to fix the net the net code with their system. And if they did that, then the Switch would be the next version of PlayStation 2, but they're not doing that. So, well, at least it's going to take them a while to get there. But that is what I got to say about that. I'll see you guys next time. I'm out.